Hi all, welcome to the video lecture series of Python for Machine Learning. In this video lecture, we will be discussing about the topic Polymorphism in Python. The meaning of word polymorphism is the condition of occurrence in different forms. Polymorphism is an important programming feature that comes inside the object oriented programming languages. It refers to the use of a single type entity, it can be a method or operator or object to represent different types in different scenarios. The best example to explain this polymorphism is the plus operator. If you use the plus operator along with two numbers, the plus operator will work as the addition operator. We will get the sum of those two numbers. On the other hand, if you use a plus operator with two strings, then the plus operator will combine those two strings into a single one. So same operator is used for two different functionalities that can be considered as an example of this polymorphism. So polymorphism refers to the use of single type entity. It can be a method or an operator or an object to, refer to represent different types of operations in different scenarios. And it is the concept of object-oriented programming language that I have mentioned earlier. It means multiple forms or more than one form. The poly means many and morphism means phases. So polymorphism when we combine two that it means many phases. That means many forms that is more than one form. As mentioned just now we will see how polymorphism is implemented by using addition operator. We know that plus operator is used for uh, what we can say for adding two numbers in generally we use plus operator for adding two numbers in Python right. But that is not the only usage of this plus operator. As we, as we can see here, we have num1 and num2, and value of num1 is 1, value of num2 is 2. Here we have used the plus operator between num1 and num2. When we use plus operator in between two integers, it will add up those two integers and we will get the sum of those numbers as the output. On the other hand, if we are using plus operator in between two strings, then what happens is we are actually combining those strings into a single one. So it's not the addition that takes place, it is actually concatenation, that is com combination of strings that takes place. So depending upon the data type, the plus operator will work differently. Even though the operator is the same, it is working differently in different Just now we saw how polymorphism work in an operator or how an operator is behaving differently in different scenarios. That's an example for polymorphism in an operator. In this example we will see how some functions in Python have polymorphism effect. One such function is the alien function. Alien function is the function that gives us the length of something, right? So if we are giving the input of the alien function as a string, it will return the number of characters inside that string, isn't it? In this case, the output will be 9. On the other hand, if we are giving a list as the input to this length function, we will be getting the number of elements inside that list, right? So here, here it will be 3. Similarly, if we are giving a dictionary as the input to a alien function, we will be getting the number of key value pairs. So here, altogether, we have 4 strings, but it is it's actually a key value pair, right? this is one pair the second pair so the output of alien function if we are giving dictionary as the out input will be the number of key value pairs so we will be getting the output as 2 so 3 depending upon so uh, look at here in this example depending upon the input we are giving this, this len function the output is different that means we are using the same function len but it is behaving differently depending upon the input it receives if it is a receiving string, it is returning the number of characters inside the string. If it is a list, it is returning the number of elements inside the list. If it is a dictionary, it is returning the number of key value pairs inside the dictionary. So same function, but it is behaving differently. So this is another example for polymorphism. This is the picture representation of how len work. If it is string, if, it is, if the input is string, it returns the length of the string. If it is list, it returns the number of items inside the list. If it is dictionary, it is returning the number of key value pairs. So far we saw how to implement polymorphism by means of operators as well as by functions. Python also allows polymorphism in classes. 
how to implement polymorphism in classes. For that what we have to do is we have to create more than one class having the same method names that is if you have a class say class 1 inside that we have two methods which say method 1 and method 2 as the names we can create another class say class 2 inside that class also we can create methods with same name as that in the class 1 so now we have more than one class in which we have methods with same name so same method in different classes that is how we implement polymorphism in case of uh, uh, classes we will see one example then it will be more clear to you so in this example we have two classes namely cat and dog inside cat we have its constructor and two methods one is info and make sound similarly dog also has got its constructor and two methods info and make sound as we can see the methods inside class dog are having the same name as that of the methods inside the class cat so now we are creating the object of objects of class cat and class dog so cat one is the object of class cat and dog one is the object of class dog and we are using a for loop in is a membership operator so animal is available here so at the beginning animal will be uh, what we can say animal will be containing the value of cat1 so cat1 is the object of class cat so when we call animal dot make sound at present animal is pointing to cat1 so animal dot make sound will be calling the method make sound of class cat so it will print the value meow similarly animal dot info at present animal is equal to cat1 so animal dot info will be calling the method info inside the class cat so this line will be printed okay again if we are calling animal dot make sound next so all the methods inside the object cat cat1 is over next animal will be equal to dog1 so now when we call animal dot make sound it will print the method it will print the value bark because right now animal is equal to dog1 that is the object of class dog so make sound of class dog will be executed we'll be getting in the output as bark i hope you understood in the example that that we just saw there are two classes they are cat and dog and they share a similar structure means they have the same number of methods and the name of the method also remains the same that is info and make sound and we have not created a common superclass or we have not created any uh, any kind of relations between these two classes even then we can pack these two different objects into a tuple and that tuple is referred by the variable animal and it is possible due to uh, due to polymorphism we shall conclude now in this video lecture we discussed about polymorphism in python and how polymorphism is implemented by using methods classes as well as operators and we also saw some of the examples explaining polymorphism that is all in this video lecture thank you so much